Hello everyone, I've been talking to Felix of Chrysalis Limited. We've been discussing commercial snail farming. Now, we would want to focus on backyard snail farming, especially for consumption and not for um, profit making. So Felix, Hi. if I want to have uh, my backyard snail farm, we've discussed the greenhouse and all of that, but my space is so small. How would Chrysalis help me with that? Okay, so Trisolis, uh, like our core market earlier, wanted to create employment for people and people in their backyards and their houses. So we still have them for going the uh, smaller people who want to do something small at their backyard. So we have setups like these, which are called the tabletops or the wooden pens. Okay. So the wooden pens were created just for that purpose. People who have very limited space and they want to put it at their backyard, their kitchen, their corridor, their veranda, wherever it is, you can put this. Okay. And these come pre-formulated uh, with a lot of uh, goodies. So, for instance, we'll give you the gloves, we'll give you the mist sprayers, okay. which we use to spray the snails. Okay. We'll give you the animal feed which is the pre-formulated feed already okay and then we'll also give you the calcium supplement which is bigger uh, we'll give you that as well we'll give you even treated soil so okay. like a bucket full of soil for you to take along as well so we have even single cubicles okay that are so this is a double one. yeah this is a double cubicle so okay. it opens double oh, like okay. That. Yeah. okay but the single ones are just one part of this and then we even give you things to put the legs in like five five stainless steel okay. plates okay. that you put their food in and you put some under the legs so that insects cannot crawl up oh. and then you can create a safe haven for your snail okay so how many snails do i start with i mean okay. it's just for me and then my home so how many snails for sure. one so each cubicle can contain a maximum of 20 snails okay but you can start with 10 15 or the maximum 20 okay. so that is dependent on the space you have okay. so the double one will take 40 it is four zero snails okay. because it's double compartment mm -hmm. and there's a uh, another one that is a three cubicle one that you can also use which takes 60 snails depending on the size and where you want to go. okay so say i want to go for the um single cubicle yes. one how much would that cost me plus all the okay. goodies so it comes with that comes with 20 snails that okay. are point of lace that are going to lay okay so it comes with the gloves the protective gear the nose mask the mist sprayer okay. we we'll give you up to five kilos of feed and then we we'll give you up to i think two kilos of uh, calcium the calcium powder and that will cost you 700 cds 700 including the box okay the we provide free training we don't charge for the training okay 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 that's good so when i have i start with that 20 how long would it take for me to start cons consuming them i okay. mean how long should i wait before sure. i can start consuming so the ones we give you are already a year and a half old okay so they are sexually matured you can eat them but you can wait for them to lay eggs maybe before so once you get them in about two months they should lay eggs okay and then you can now choose to eat them and leave their eggs for the next season okay or definitely there will be a need for you to expand okay so after that that you have seen that oh they work and everything is good then you can maybe plan on moving into a larger okay uh, structure okay than you are now yeah okay okay so felix you said you would for one pen right yeah. you give me 20 snails now it means that those 20 snails when they start laying eggs that's about um, a total of 800 eggs yeah. the one pen can it contain all of those eggs when they hatch no so like i said earlier one is uh, the maximum capacity is 20. okay so after they've laid eggs then you move the young ones mm -hmm somewhere else or you move their older ones somewhere else oh. so if you have plans of eating then you could possibly eat the older ones and then it will be left with the younger one okay. but definitely each cubicle contains 20. that means that if you want to build new structures for them you need about 40 more structures like this 
before it will be able to contain your 80 green or 80 snails wow then I, I might as well get a greenhouse yeah instead of doing the 40 structures again exactly, exactly. okay exactly. okay okay, okay. Exactly. so any last words for um people will be interested in getting the single cubicle the single pen any last words for anyone who wants to try the backyard one sure i would say for everything most people want to try it first even yes. though we've tried it uh for a longer time and most people know that snails really lay a lot yeah but the only disconnect that was happening was uh the difference between how to house them commercially okay. and how to do them in a small uh backyard form and we have all those facilities available so for people who want to try this is your go-to guide okay. you can try we'll give you the support the training and then you can start and once you see that they are multiplying then you can move them from where you are now to a much more bigger structure like a greenhouse okay so yes so we entreat people to not only look at it as a, a hobby but also look at it as a test case scenario where you are using it as a test subject okay. to start to see whether what we are saying is really true. Okay. But the interesting fact is that most people come to us not for the snails per se. Okay. Because they know that snails lay already and they are just looking for a formidable structure, okay, a sustainable structure them. to put their snails in. So you can start this as a, a, a hobbyist approach, but definitely once they lay eggs, you need to do about 40 boxes which will not be sustainable yeah. but you'd rather have to move to the greenhouse or a more a much more sustainable setup like the bigger sets that we have okay i'm sure once i mean i get my personal pen and then it's getting to that point it would also motivate me because i know at the end of the day i'm going to make some money if i go into the greenhouse yes. bits thank you so much okay. for making time to talk to us on our um, backyard farming for our snails thank you everyone can become a snail farmer whether it's a side hustle or you want to make a commercial do well to contact trisolis to find out more and learn more and for those of you who love your snail want to make it personal just consumption do well to pick a pen a wooden pen from them also you can follow trisolis in the link below on their youtube channel if you like this video, do well to subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.